Hey, what's up, world? We are back. It's the HPR Chronicles co- podcast with you, with your main guys, uh, Shakur and Smith. I'm Shakur. He is Smith. What's up? And uh, Smith is a veteran of the Army Reserve who currently works for the VA. I'm a film and TV director, producer, writer, and we both have a love for history, politics, and race. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, ISNT Group Digital. Hit that notification button. Thank you for listening where you get your podcast, guys. We are everywhere. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Uh, first, The first thing I want to say is today I got my COVID vaccine shot. And I think it's important that as African-Americans, we go out there and get it because I heard that we, 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 we were one of the most affected by it. But we tend to be some of the uh, ones that don't want to go and get it. So just want to say that real quick. Don't believe the crazy conspiracy theories. If you have if you have the opportunity to get the vaccine, be a part of solu- be a part of the solution. Protect your family. Believe it or not, you getting it can probably save a loved one's life in your you, with your friends and or family. Just wanted to get that out the way. I was blessed and was able to get an early dose, and I'm happy. I'm not complaining. I'm fine so far. I haven't fallen out. I don't have a chip in me, <laughs> none of that stuff. <laughs> you guys no chips? Heard. What? No <laughs> chips. What? Exactly. So, so yeah, guys, it's always fun to be back on, and uh, it's always great. And I always say this, and I'll continue to say this. I always like when I learn something from our show while presenting it to you guys that I didn't know before. And today we're going to be talking about the uh, massacre of. You want to tell them, uh, Smith? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's a um, massacre in the Wyoming territory, territory and happened on September 2nd, 1885. And it's, um, well, I'm just going to start reading it on September 2nd, 1885. Hold on real quick before you go. What was it called? It was it was the massacre of... Well, it was in Wyoming territory, but it's the, mass- the Rock Springs t- Massacre. That's what I wanted to get in case someone wants to look it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Rock so, so it's the Rock massacre. Springs mass- Massacre. And it was one of the Chinese massacres that took place, you know, around 1800s when they were, you know, getting this country built. And you know, it was right after slavery, right? Yes. It was right after slavery had ended or something like that. Yeah. So anyway. Go so ahead. on um, 150 white wi- miners in Rock Springs, Wyoming, brutally attacked their Chinese co-workers, killing 28 wounding 15 others and driving several hundred more out of town. Excuse me. The miners working in the Union Pacific coal mine have been struggling to unionize and strike for better working conditions for years. But at every juncture, the powerful uh, railroad company had bested them. And just, and I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt myself and say that I'm getting this information off the History Channel um, or History.com. Cool. So for people, if they wanted to, you know, verify. Um, so they've been um, striking for um, better co- working conditions for years. And then uh, the railroad company has uh, was doing their best to stop them. So searching for a scapegoat, the angry miners blamed the Chinese. The Chinese coal workers were um, hard workers, but the Union Pacific had initially brought many of them to Rock Springs as strike breakers. And, show, and they showed little interest in the miners' union. <clears throat> Outraged by a company decision to allow Chinese workers to work the richest coal seams, a mob of white miners impulsively decided to strike back by attacking Rock Springs' small Chinatown. When they saw the armed mob approaching, most of the Chinese abandoned their homes and businesses and fled for the hills. But those who escaped and <clears throat> who failed to escape in time were brutally uh, beaten and murdered. A week later on September 9th, U.S. troops escorted um, escorted the surviving uh, Chinese back into town where many of them returned to work. Eventually, the Union Pacific fired 45 of the white miners for their role in the massacre, but no effective legal action was ever taken against any of the participants. The Rock Springs uh, massacre was simple, simple, symptomatic of the anti-Chinese feelings shared by many Americans at that time. The Chinese had been victims of prejudice and violence ever since they first began to come to the West in the mid-19th century, fleeing famine and political upheaval. 
widely blamed for all sorts of social ills, the Chinese were also singled out for attack by some national politicians who popularized strident um, slogans like the Chinese must go and help pass an 1882 law that closed the U.S. to any further Chinese immigration. In this climate of racial hatred, violent attacks against the Chinese in the West became all too common, though the Rock Springs massacre was no, notably both for its size and savage brutality. Wow, man. So do, 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 can I can I give my opinion on this first? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Man, audience, <clears throat> first of all, <clears throat> once again, it, you know, it trips me out when I learn something new on our show, because I'm, you know, I'm a big proponent of history and learning history and understanding your history and stuff like that. And the first thing that came to mind when I heard about this and I saw it, I first found out about this on the new Netflix show that Will Smith hosts called A Man. It's about the, the 14th Amendment. And I was kind of shocked to hear it because you don't hear about this. You never, you never heard about this. You know what I mean? Coming up, you know, even in school, all I heard about was all the things that happened in slavery and all the black towns that were taken down and Jim Crow and this, that, and the other, and how we were lynched and brutalized. You know, that, that's, that seems to be what's pounded in our psyche. But it's interesting how, let's say, the Chinese kids in the school system don't have these things pounded in their psyche. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? I, I, I never even knew this existed. And, and the other <laughs> thing that came to mind when I, when, this first, you, when, I, when I first saw this was, I was like, wow. So, you know, with, so f with them, it really didn't even matter. I mean, once they thought you were, you know, you were against them or not even against them, once they thought that, you were taking something away from them, they were ready to take it all the way to, to, to murder. Like it, it couldn't even be, be settled. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? And the way they no brought it across. Yeah. And the way they brought it across on, on the, on the men show on Netflix, guys, you could check it out is they were just, they were talking about, you know, how, I mean, and you kind of touched on it in your read. It's like in, in, in your presentation, it's like, you know, they, they, they didn't like the fact that they felt like they were taking their jobs and stuff. You know what I mean? And, and wanted to get rid of these, these people that came and worked and send them back home. And, and, and in my mind, like, why invite some folks, <laughs> some people to do the labor? Then, then when you get what you want, we don't need you no more. Peace. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? I, I mean, just the, just the, the brutal, savagery man and the the selfishness and the and 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 the no regard for for other human life you know it just trips me out you know what i mean I would, and, and 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 i and i was saying to myself so it wasn't just say hispanics or blacks i mean even against against some chinese workers they were treated the same way and and killed and mobbed and yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I was just, um, <clears throat> was just gonna um, say that what's interesting is how um, the story, or yeah, what I was reading, <clears throat> explaining how at that time the climate there was because the um, the ro the mining company didn't want to you know help unionize, and instead they brought some people over to work for, you know to work yeah, and some immigrants stuff to be. Um, strike breakers and whatnot but instead of getting mad at they really you know they got mad at the wrong group right they get mad at the people who are doing the work that they were brought in to do excuse right. me but instead of being being mad at the company for doing it and maybe trying to to destroy that company instead they went to chinatown killed people and destroyed businesses i mean it unfortunately um it so sounds like like, like, like a black wall street to me <laughs> it, exactly like whenever things are not the way they want it to be or they're some yeah jealousy of or fear of something then they just destroy um but i was also going to add is interesting how it just takes um like that same climate feels like it's going on now with the whole you know coronavirus the china flu uh, or Wuhan flu mm -hmm. and all that other stuff. And, <clears throat> and actually yesterday I was reading 
no, I was watching the news and there was um, a gentleman, I just can't remember the city. I, I want to say, um, man, I'm sorry for not knowing exactly what, exactly where but um near the la area and his business um he was trying to reopen and you know with the whole mask mandate and everything still you know just um mm -hmm. trying to follow the rules and people wrote um um graffiti on on his business on the windows on the yeah. walls on outside of the um business and stuff like for him to go back and um he should die and stuff like that and it's Again, my point is how quickly people resort to that type of violence um, when, yeah, when they're just not happy with what they're getting. And instead of, you know, taking the, um, or calling out some other people about what's going on, they just, they go after individuals. Right. Say. Right. Yeah. Or, I mean, or, or a group of people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's you know it, I'm laughing because when I uh, once again I was just shocked and surprised that that's where it ended up I, I to me I'm like where is the diplomacy Smith yeah. there mean, isn't any <laughs> I mean can 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 okay the white Europeans the Caucasians the settlers the mm -hmm. slave owners do you guys have any diplomacy, even, even as of late with the capital insurrection, they didn't think they were getting what they want and they resorted to violence, beating cops up, yep. breaking in the thing, pissing and shitting in the walls of the capital, yeah. walking through there with the Confederate. I mean, it's the same behavior. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, and the question I have is, and I would almost and, say, who's the real thugs of America? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, yeah. they try yeah. to say everyone else is a, is a thug, but uh, no. no, it's almost like it's almost like the head lead thugs trying to call everyone else what they actually are. Yeah. Yeah. The minute I, the minute anyone else tries to even defend themselves against their thuggery. Yep, we're the violent ones now, and when and, and, in every instance they came here using mm -hmm. violence and genocide yeah. and rape and pillage, and, and 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 that's it seems like that's all they know. I mean, there's there's a pattern here. Mm -hmm. You know, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah, oh yeah, there is, there is. It's whenever I mean, there's a pattern. But I was here, even man. It's, just, it's unbelievable. I was just gonna um, add that I don't know if you. Heard um, there's a senator, yes, yeah, Senator Ron Johnson in Wisconsin. Yeah, um, was on a show and made the comment that uh, he wasn't concerned about the insurrectionists that um, right, you know, broke into the Capitol mm -hmm. and everything because they look like him. Mm -hmm. But he had said that if um, Trump had won and Black Lives Matter or Antifa had stormed, he would have been. You know terrified for his life yeah which again it kind of goes back to um how it's been stig you know stigmatized and put on mm -hmm. um, people of color as being so aggressive and mean yep. and as you know as we're bringing out and showing that yeah not every race has its or ev yeah every ethnic group has its issues and but mm -hmm. it does seem like the only solution um within uh, the Europeans is to is violence as opposed to like right. said, any negotiation negotiations or just discussing. Yeah, it's just no d no diplomacy whatsoever. And yeah. I also want to touch on the pattern of no accountability that's been mm -hmm. going on since they also got here. Because even in this instance, in the presentation, you even mentioned how no one even paid paid for it yeah there's no um there was no legal um yeah action against nothing. anyone correct so yeah correct. So, you know th there's this history of no accountability yeah on top of the massacres and <clears throat> the lynching and everything that that was actually committed against all the other races that would even come here to help build their railroad yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah 
Yep. There, there, and, there's a history, there's a pattern of accountability too, of no accountability. Of no accountability. And, and, and even with the insurrection, at first, they like lined them up like in grade school and, and just had them all trotting out of the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, remember? Yeah, I do. And you know I remember saying? seeing and, the, and if it was holding else, hands. Yeah, holding and hands if it was everything. anyone else, they would have been lining up into a paddy wagon if it was <laughs> any other race yeah yeah you know they had them in single file some of the same cops colleagues that had just beat gotten beaten down and you know what i mean they, like I mean, bye like, see you yeah. have a good day yeah yeah i mean the, the 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 accountability took place after the fact yeah because they knew to the rest of the world it looked bad how bad it would have looked yeah you see you understand know what i'm trying to say <clears throat> And I mean, I've heard that the the amount of arrests so far is still. Yeah, I think um, it's four up to four hundred now or something. But it, but wasn't it like th- a couple thousand? No, was there a thousand or so uh, arrested during uh, when the Black Lives Matter or I can't something? Remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I, I I I have to take that back. I'm until I get some tr- the true numbers, but. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it's just inter- yeah it's it's always uh interesting how things are perceived and um and handled or the lack of like yeah y- y- your your point is actually much a- more accurate the lack of accountability yeah and that's just the way things have there's a always- history of account of no accountability, accountability. Yep. you which, know what i mean which makes you makes me understand and realize why they do it repeatedly yeah. because they've never gotten they, they, trouble they, they feel it. as if yeah yeah they, so. they you know if, if if you're white you're right as, as they say yeah, yeah. They, they feel as if hey it's, it's all good you know what i mean you know so so you know once again america you know what i mean if you didn't know about the the rock springs massacre or the you know the, the chinese massacre of 18 what was it, 1885 80. 1880. Oh shoot! Sorry. 1885. Yeah, 1885. If you didn't know about that, now you know. You know, and, and I hope this is another moment. I hope that that this is another teachable moment for our listeners around the world, and our listeners in 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 America, whether you're uh, black or white or whatever race. I hope this is another te- teachable moment where you learn that hey, the same uh, atrocities that were committed against your people, if you were African-American or another race, were even committed against the Chinese who came here to work and just do something positive and try to just come here and, and like live a, 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 a better life. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just another stain in America's history that they need to account for. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I'm going to say in, in closing. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? <laughs> yeah, I agree. You know, you have anything you want to add? No, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I think we covered it pretty well. Yeah, cool, guys. Yeah, again, look this up, you know, when you get a chance and, you know, you can research it some more. Uh, I'll definitely put the History Channel, uh, hit the history.com link in the description, like I always do as our source. And you guys could search this up and see where else you can uh, learn about the Chinese massacre. And there, there was actually another one in L.A. that we can cover sometime this year before the year is up. Yeah, where a whole thing went on with the uh, Chinese in L.A. as well. So, uh, uh, Smith, thanks for checking in. Thank you. Definitely appreciate, uh, appreciate you. Uh, and congrats hopefully. on your vaccination. Oh, yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, you, you already know I was a proponent from, from the start. I was oh, like, give yeah. me a double on both arms. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, guys, don't forget to follow us on ICT Group Digital. Subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when when the shows are coming out. Uh, Thank you for listening where you get your podcast. It's too many streaming platforms to name them all, but uh, we're we're on all of them from Pandora to iHeartRadio to Spotify, iTunes. We're on your cell phone apps. So check in with us on your drive when you're working out, whatever you're doing. And thank you for those listeners. And uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. And we'll see you guys next Friday. Have a great weekend. All right. Peace. And we're out. Another good show on the HPR Chronicles podcast. Thanks.